In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to change all the colors and styling for your Buddy Boss theme. So in order to access this, you go to Buddy Boss theme options and click on styling. And then from here, we can change just about every color that you see throughout the theme. Just so you're aware, you always have this default color scheme section. So you can go in here and basically change a bunch of colors. Let's say I make the header red and the site title green. We can always come back here. I can do a couple things. I can go to the site title and just click default if I want to set that one option back. But then I can also go and click this, say yes, and then save changes to revert the whole thing back to the default. If I've made tons of color changes and I just want to go back to a fresh start, those are always options. So with that, I'm going to go in section by section and give you an overview of what these different options can do. All right, so we're gonna start with the header. We'll select a header background color. Let's go ahead and make it green. And I don't really like the way all these colors look on top of green, so I can edit those as well. I'll make the site title white and the links white. All right, that's looking better. And of course, site title is assuming you haven't added a logo yet. You could always go into here and upload a logo instead. So I don't really like these blue on top of green. So let's make that a different color. So let's go ahead and make it like dark green. Let's see what happens there. So now on hover, we have dark green, but let's say I want the active link to also be dark green. So I could go in here and try to find that color, but the better thing to do is go in here and copy this hex value and go in here and paste it. So it's exactly the same. We can do this one as well. There we go. So now all of this is looking really consistent. We'll move from here to the buddy panel. The buddy panel is this panel on the left. So let's say we want this to match our green. I'll pick, um, let's go with like a lighter color green and see how that looks. All right. And then we can make our links color, let's say yellow. And you have to wait for that to finish saving before you can preview it. All right. And then let me make the green actually a darker green. And then we have these icon colors. The hovers are blue. So let's go ahead and change that. And we'll make them really dark green. And again, I can copy that hex value. And so I've got hover and active. I could make them the same or different. I'll make them the same for this. All right, now things are starting to look pretty cool. Okay, so now we're gonna move into some other sections. So we've got accents and link colors. These are gonna change some little things throughout. So like this little color and just a little accents uh, throughout the site. And then we have footer. So this here is the footer. And we have footer widgets background. In order for that to appear, you'd have to go to appearance widgets and add some widgets into the footer section and you'd see those widgets show up. And then you could set a background color to those. I don't have that in here at the moment, but I can change the footer background color. And if we had like a menu or some links in here, we could change those colors with this right here. Body, so the body background color is this light blue color right now. Let's go back to our green color scheme and get something light that's gonna work. All right, now we're talking. And then I'm just gonna go a little bit more yellow here. And then we have cover image. So if I go to a profile, you can see we have the default cover, cover image. That's on profiles, groups, um, courses, if you have LearnDash installed, basically anywhere that has a, a cover photo or profile photo. So that will change that. And then there are a bunch of options here. Let's look at tooltips for a moment. So tooltips are like this little pop-up. Let's go make our tooltips. I don't know, we'll make them hot pink for fun. 
So now we can change the tooltip colors. Moving on, we have body text. The body text is basically this text and other text that's seen throughout. Just the default text seen here and seen in blog posts and stuff. And then we have blog post alternate text, which is also seen throughout. So like, let's make this, you know, this color, we'll make this one um, something like that. We can see that changing here and it's going to change in uh, page content all over the place, just little, little areas that fall back to the default body color. And then we have our login and register screens. To test these, I'm going to open up an incognito window, basically a private browser, so that we can see we have, this is the login screen, and that's the register screen. And we can change the colors there. There's other options for those that you should be aware of that we can go into login register and we can set a logo and other background images and stuff. I'll go through that in another video, but this is really just for the colors. So we can change the background color. Maybe we go with a green like we've been doing. And then let's change the um, text color to this pink and we'll change our buttons. I don't know, to this color yellow. And you can see that worked. We got the pink text and then the yellow buttons and links. Um, so that's it for this section. And then we can also go into appearance customize. And if you click on styling, all the color options I just showed you are also accessible in here. So you can pick them from here and see live preview of them. Um, I personally think it's easier to do it in our, in our area, but you always have the customizer, the native WordPress customizer here available as well if you prefer that.